हाई एवरीबडी तो लेट्स कंटिन्यू अवर टेलीकॉम सीरीज टूडे सिलेबस इज चैनल एसोसिएट सिग्नलिंग एंड कॉमन चैनल सिग्नलिंग स्टार्ट विद चैनल एसोसिएटेड सिग्नलिंग सो बेसिकली इट इज़ द फॉर्म ऑफ डिजिटल कम्युनिकेशन सिग्नलिंग ऑफनली रिफर्स एज पी टी एस डैट इज पर ट्रंक सिग्नलिंग इट यूज राउटिंग इंफॉर्मेशन टू डायरेक्ट द पे लोड ऑफ वॉइस और डेटा टू इट्स डेस्टिनेशन डैट इज Routing information is encoded and transmitted in the same channel as payload itself, and that is good for it because it conserves the bandwidth because this, there is no separate channel for the signaling. Let's start common channel signaling using SS seven network. So the difference between channel associated signaling to common channel signaling is that in associated signaling there is a no separate channel for signaling. but in common channel signaling there is separate channel for the signaling so let's understand uh, first of all a basic structure using ss7 network we have seen that there are certain links uh, connecting to each other there are network 1 and network 2 dot phone is there then we have scp ssp and scp points and stp points are there we can see in this network moreover we can see this dark line little bit light lines and one more links are written over there link a b c it is written in the network so these links are signaling rest lines are either subscriber lines or voice trunk as shown in the legends so basically common channel signaling is used for isdn networks and signaling system number 7 that is ss7 network so basically ss7 is primarily used within the pst network so ccs is a packet switch common network effectively be used for transfer of data and voice on separate path so ss7 is signaling system number 7 protocol it's a signaling protocol used for setup of call and tear down of that call tear down means to end up the end the call and return to the initial state so now let's discuss uh, what are the meaning of different different components in the network and how common channel signaling works so as we know it's a global standard defined by international telecommunication union uh, itu and uh, as i already discussed that used it is used in pst and in mobile communication for exchange of information across the network elements so as we already discussed that it uses packet switching enable efficient use of voice circuits foster call setup in services intelligent network and establish a monitor release call in the core network offer enhanced call features value added services enable non call related procedure like mobility management and all that so in the diagram we have seen that signaling points are there ssp stp scp and signaling links a b c d e f links you can see here uh, very well there are a b c d links are there then uh, ssp stp and ssp and scp points are there let's discuss the components so ssp is signal oblique service switching point it could be a telephone exchange central office mobile services switching center msps in the mobile uh, loaded with ss7 software is there because for it's a protocol and it's a kind of software and it used for originate terminate or switching calls so stp uh, are basically signal oblique service transfer point basically these are the packet switches for ss7 network the basic function is to route the signal message to destination and scps are signal oblique service control points so these are the databases provide necessary information for call processing and value added services for in and deployment in mated pas or we have uh, a link b link c link and def links so a link is access link b is bridge link c is cross link and def links are extended digit diagonal or fully associated links or we can say that alternate links so these are the things so a links basically connect ss ssp to stp b links connect stp from one network to another stp c connects uh, mated stp pairs and defs i already ex explained that these are associated signaling links links for alternate links so thanks for a lot for watching this uh, video so thanks a lot keep updated yourself and keep watching this telecom series 
which will definitely uh, help you in understanding the telecom concepts in long run